Hello everyone and welcome to this Aquas tutorial. Um, I was asked on the forum if I could do a tutorial on how to make water for pools and basins with Aquas. So this is what we're going to do now. Um, I have created a simple pool here which obviously consists only of standard Unity uh, cubes and we're going to use this as a basis to create our uh, pool water. Now for the for the water, um, for the pool water and for the basin water we're going to use a plane different from the aqueous water plane that comes with the Unity which is which is um, just the simple circular water plane that you know from from Unity's uh, simple water. Um, but for pools obviously a circular plane will not do us any good so we're going to start off by creating a um, a standard unity plane, which I'm going to do now, and we're going to position it where we want to have it. That's going to be our water surface in the pool, and say we want to have our water surface at about this level. And um, now we're going to create a material. So for that, I have Aquas imported. So I'm simply going to go into Aquas uh, and into the materials folder, water. I'm going to select desktop and web and uh, here we have our three um, different water materials that we can use. You can use either of them and uh, each uh, of them will give you different results but there is not just that one correct way to do that uh, wa pool water with aquas so you can try all these out. For now I'm going to cr uh, create uh, the water with the two-sided triple textured uh, shader and first let me just quickly duplicate it and I'm going to call it my pool water and now I'm simply going to take that and drag and drop it on the water plane on the on the uh, rectangular standard unity plane that we have just placed in the scene and we can immediately see that there is something wrong with it uh, the thing is that the standard unity plane has a different a UV layout than the water plane and in order to make this right all we have to do is correct the tiling values of the textures so I'm going to select the water plane and in the inspector I'm going to expand the material and in the properties I'm going to change the waves tiling values the, the tiling values for the wave textures to something significantly higher I'm going to take 3000 the small waves 3000 for the medium waves and 2000 for the large waves. Now in case you want to have foam uh, in your pool at, at, the, um, at the edges you also need to adjust the tiling values of that foam texture. Let me try 8000, that looks about right. And let's also reduce um, the uh, foam blend to something like 0 0.2 and increase the foam cr contrast to still keep it visible and that's our basic pool water now as you can see it's still very dirty meaning um, that we don't we can't see um, we can see the bottom of our basin which is of course uh, something that in reality you would see except if your water was very very dirty so to do this in the material settings I'm simply going to change the depth transparency to something a lot higher and now we can see that we can see the ground of our pool now one thing I forgot and you see that um, whatever is beneath the water is very dark this is because on the water plane uh, we still have sh uh, cast shadows enabled so we have to turn this off and now the light shines through the water surface to the bottom of our pool and that's uh, the way we want to have it. Now the specularity seems to be somewhat lost. Um, if you, if you want to get it back simply go to the material settings of the water and you can go to specular and increase that to something that suits your needs. And there we are. And if you if you want to make it look a bit better, you can also add a reflection probe to uh, the plane. I'm simply going to do that right now. Add reflection probe, 
to um, and make it a child object of our plane and change the position to 0, 0, 0. Um, maybe it's a bit too big. Let me scale it down to something like 0 0.01. Point zero one and zero point zero one, so we don't see it anymore. And um, in the reflection probe, we have the uh, type baked. We're going to change that to real time, and we're going to reduce the intensity. And uh, so zero point five is somewhat right. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now, what is missing in our um, pool and basin water. Obviously we're missing the caustics. Um, to do that I'm going to go to the aquas folder and I'm going to go to materials. No, sorry, I'm actually not going to go to materials. I'm going to go to prefabs and here we have our primary caustics projector and our secondary caustics projector which we'll simply grab and drop as child objects on our plane. The primary projector and the secondary projector and what we need to do now is we need to reduce the orthographic size of those projectors to not extend beyond the pool otherwise we will have caustics displaying everywhere not only inside the water so something like 4.5 seems right and we're going to do that with the second projector as well. And uh, if set up correctly, let's see, because in the material shaders we have Aquas Caustics and we can change the distance visibility, we can change the fade, we can change the depth fade and what the current water level is supposed to be. And the current water level is, I'm not sure, let me check, it's at 1.02, oh, let's change that to 1 for the sake of, of, of comfort and uh, now we're going to go to the caustics projector and we're going to change the water level property to 1 for each of them so we don't have caustics displaying above the water surface and um, for some reason we have a weird flickering in there change that uh, I think if we increase that intensity it should be about fine yeah I think that works okay so now let's see what that looks like in play mode so, okay and here we are now we have our pool water with caustics displaying and um, yeah, it looks it looks okay I would say for a quick prototyping of course you can you can play around and tweak uh, a lot of those settings um, as you see fit um, but I think for a first result this is this is acceptable and uh, yeah if you have any questions and or requests uh, or need any help please leave a message on the forum or send me an email and um, yeah, I hope this tutorial helps you create your own pool and basin water and uh, thanks for watching.